Hi there guys, today I'm going to show you a short introduction or give you a short introduction to a project I'm working on right now. I'm working on making my own game controller and building a simple game in Unity and making it all work together through a driver. And uh, so far I've been quite successful. First of all, let's check out the hardware. Well, I have a Arduino Uno, as you can see there. And on this Uno, I have connected four digital lines, 8, 9, 10, 11. I got power out and I'm using two additional connectors. My protoboard, you can see it has a red LED and a green LED. Four buttons, some resistors, and that's basically it. Then it's hooked, all hooked up to the cable, to the Arduino. The way it works is I have a Unity game that's running a simple code where it's showing uh, a number on the screen and then you are supposed to respond to that number by clicking the button. <coughs> and for that to work you need of course to have some software running on the Arduino. And let's just take a peek we got that running right here. It's actually quite simple. We have some something we call the handshake where we just turn the green light or the red light on depending whether or not the game is actually talking with the Arduino. I have a simple serial input and output for the buttons so the Arduino is just going to relay all my inputs from my Homemade controller to Unity directly, <laughs> or just through serial connections, and that's basically it. Let's uh, take a quick look or peek in Unity itself. I'm using a 4.6, even though 5.0 just got released. Um, it's really simple. That's what you can see on the screen: a few text boxes and a slider. Everything else is just in the code. So. I got a script called com, and that's basically just my communication script. And it's taking care of all the communication needed between the Arduino and Unity, and sending uh, or forwarding all communication, or only desired communication, to the game itself. Uh, the reason I made this a separate script is because I want multiple game modes in my game, so I'm going to need it over and over. Otherwise, I could just have included it all in a single script. It's also getting quite lengthy for considering how simple it is. Then I have this, well, here it is. I was showing you the wrong one, but it doesn't really matter. I'll go over the code in another video. This is the communication, and this is the game code. And if you know me correctly, then when I have a game like this, I have a system controller. That's my communication. I have debug options. And here I have my game controller that handles sound input and checks if things are going correctly. So, why don't we just give it a try. Let's see if I can enable the second webcam. There we go. And let's hit play. So it says pressed, you can see the green light switch to green. So if I stop the game, it switches back to red, meaning it's not connected, it's not ready for input. When I hit play, it switches to green again and indicates the controller is ready for use. Also, on screen we have a slider, that's a time slider. But we're not going to allow a user to use it like that. That's simply just for indicating how much time you have left. So when I press 2, the timer starts. Right now I don't have a fail mode. Uh, so if you fail the time uh, running out, it, you should get some sort of penalty. We don't have that yet. However, we have the basic functionality. And it's kind of a reaction test, as you can see. And you're getting a high score for how long 
you uh, continue. Also, I have disabled the function where you can just press all the keys at once. And you see, nothing happens. In the beginning, I was able to get, that's how I got this uh, high score of 61, was by holding all the keys all the time. That's not working anymore. So, the game is basically working. The only thing left to do is implement some fail states, a menu, and uh, a option screen where you can connect your Arduino. You need to be able to insert your communication options such as uh, which COM port is your Arduino connected to. You can see right here, mine is connect to COM5 and your baud rate in case you changed it for some reason. <clears throat> so, this was just an introduction. I'll make several longer videos where I'll explain each item on its own. So I'll explain how the Arduino is set up, how the probe board is set up, and how the Unity code, and how the Arduino code is. So, it won't be li like I used to these two hour long videos, it's just going to be short and precise. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.